Mm. Oh my god, guys, guys. It's 99 out. It's 5.47 p.m. and it's 99 degrees. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So far, so good. Uh, my unofficial temperature hit 101 today. I didn't see it, but it happened. One neat thing that happens is when your temperature goes over 100, and you know everybody in the rest of the 48 states probably knew this weeks ago, but I'm in Minnesota where it doesn't hit 100 that much. Um, the weather bug will turn the temperature red, no matter what you have it set for, just to let you know, hey, it's 100. Like it's some magical temperature. And, you know, anything over 90, 91, 92, too hot. It feels like it's just been like that for days now. No rain. Keeps the lawn from growing. That's good, I guess. Although, whenever I do get around to mowing it, it's probably going to be too hot and it's going to kill me. Look forward to that, everyone. So, oh, I bet that's another one. Yeah. You post all those video game threads at once, don't you? What happens is when someone posts a thread to the W, the newsfeed gets updated, and then the Twitter account of the W will post a message pointing to the new thread, and then because I followed the W on Twitter on my phone, I'll get a text. So exciting. It's also one of my early indicators for when people are up to no good starting hundreds of threads at once because I'll suddenly be bombarded with texts. That's a little bit about my life. It's my hair. I think I need a long shower. It must be the hotness, right? I did shave, but you can't tell because it's already started to grow back a lot. Also, I missed a spot. There's some big long hairs <laughs> sticking out of my neck. Very uncomfortable. <sighs> so hard to do anything all weekend. It's just hot. You just, you know, we have the one small room that has the air conditioning. And you leave the door closed because you want the air conditioner to actually cool the room as opposed to having all the cool air go out, which is great if you're anywhere else in the house, but there's no reason to be, and you wouldn't want to be. But it's just been so hot that it, there hasn't even been, like, the normal cooling down at the end of the day. The low temperatures, like, today's low, 76. You can't even open the windows when it's 76. I mean, you can when it's 84 in the house, and that's what the thermostat's been saying like 2 or 3 in the morning, 84. should never be 84 in the house. And yet, not much you can do about it. And I'm sure that it's worse where you are, and I have no right to complain. And like I said, there's only about two weeks of really bad weather like this. But we're in it, boy. We're in the middle of it. We actually hadn't hit 100. And officially, I don't think we have hit 100 because all the temperatures are taken at the airport. The last time MSP recorded a 100 degree temperature was my birthday, my 40th birthday, one year ago, June 7, 2011. So it's been over a year since then, and I don't have it in front of me, and I'm not going to have it in front of me. So we'll find out later. Hey, did you hear Anderson Cooper was gay? No. No, really, he was. And he issued this statement, which immediately made him a hero to everyone. So brave. I almost want to post his statement, but substitute straight for gay. Let's see how many people will accuse me of, of hate or hating. But, like, if I said the fact is I'm straight, I always have been, always will be, and I couldn't be any more happy, comfortable with myself, and proud. It's trolling, right? I mean, it's trolling to say that. But why is it trolling? I at least get, I would at least get some discussion out of my gay friends, probably. Or they would unfriend me. I don't know. I don't know. They put up a lot of stupid shit for me before. I don't think this would push them over the edge. I can say all this because I'm pretty sure none of my gay friends watch these videos. If you're one of my gay friends and you watch these videos... Don't hit me the next time you see me. 
Because you hit me like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> so intolerant. I don't know. This is one of the problems I had. I mean, I grew up in the church, and I was a big church guy, and I spent all my time in the church. But one thing that bugged me about the, my church was the fact that we basically said, you know, it's wrong, and that's the thing that's going to keep you out of heaven. And I, I never really believed that, and I always challenged it. And it was all kind of wishy-washy, oh, hate the sinner, love the sin nonsense. And it's like, well, is it, you know, I don't know. I know what the Bible says, but the Bible contradicts itself in so many other places. So, so I gave up and slept in on Sundays. But, I still believe. I just believe in the the good Jesus part and not the having problems with uh, gay folks part. I don't know. You're not supposed to pick and choose, right? But that's, I don't know, it's a religion thing. I didn't think I was going to be talking about religion. I'm going to finish this before it's over. Just you wait. It's almost there. Did you try watching that NASCAR race over the weekend? Saturday night? They would show, literally, they would show five, six minutes of race, and then they would go immediately into three minutes of commercials. And then sometimes they'd do three minutes of commercials, and they'd come back for like 30 seconds, and then they'd do another three minutes of commercials. I think that's like a old Turner innovation. It sucked. It's, just, it's so tough. I like NASCAR, but these races are just brutal to get through. And you almost have to be doing something else while it's on. Because if you try to devote your attention to the race, you'll just go nuts. Especially when the weather's so bad that you can't get up and walk around or make a snack or do something during the commercials. When there are so many commercials, it must be Monday. It is Monday, in fact. It's so hot, it's hard to sleep. And you just kind of get goofy and then you know there's a holiday coming but it's Wednesday so you're going to have your holiday but you still got to come back and work two more days by the way this week patriotic shirt week every week is patriotic shirt week I just happened to be paying lots of attention this shirt by the way awesome two ninety nine at Menards yes I will always pay two ninety nine for a shirt no matter what's on it but you can wear this around the office Part of the patriotic department, yo. It's funny that it says 1776, but this flag clearly has 50 stars on it. Well, not clearly, unless you're like really up close. See, you can kind of. I mean, it's all faded, right? It's part of that faded look. Was there anything we were supposed to talk about? I don't know. Are you getting tired of these yet? <laughs> we're, we're halfway through uh, 2012. It was a goal of mine for 2012, thank you, to kind of do this. I can't even remember why now. I think it was to hope I get better at it, but today I feel like I am not better at it. Although, no, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right. That's where we are, and that's how things are for me today, July 1st, July Second, yesterday was July 1st. July 4th is Wednesday. So it's going to be one of those weeks. I have a great shirt plan tomorrow, though, so come back and see that. And if you have any questions or would uh, like to suggest content, please, you know how to reach me. You can comment on Facebook. You can comment on Twitter. You can comment on YouTube. You can comment at the W.com. You can find all these places at CRZ.net. CRZ.net. Click away. Learn about me. Learn more than you ever wanted to know about me. And tomorrow, there'll be a chance to learn even more as I record another one of these things. We're going to have number 120. Can you believe it? No, me neither. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you probably tomorrow.